morning, everyone, once again, and welcome to the house of the Lord, Douglas First Assembly. Bienvenidos todos a la casa de Dios, a la primera asamblea de Dios de Douglas. Voy a empezar con una escritura en el Salmo 84, los primeros cuatro versículos. Psalm 84, the first four verses I like to read from there. How lovely is your tabernacle. Some versions say, how lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, even faints for the court of the Lord. I love the psalmist. I love the way they love the house of God. And I can identify that because I love the house of God. I love being the house of God. And every time I read the psalms, uh, I say, wow, I could have written that one. <laughs> and it says, my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. And that's the reason. That's the reason why we're here. It's not just the building, it's not just the people, it is the Lord. Cuán amables son tus moradas, oh Jehová de los ejércitos, anhela mi alma y aún ardientemente desea los atos de Jehová. Mi corazón y mi carne cantan al Dios vivo. Como le gustaba el templo de Dios al salmista. Even the sparrow has found a home and a swallow, the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you. Bienaventurados que habitan en tu casa perpetuamente te alabarán. Aún el gorrión hay a casa de la golondrina nido para sí, donde ponga sus polluelos cerca de tus altares. Oh Jehová de los ejércitos, Rey mío y Dios mío. I'm going to invite you to stand this morning as we go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for another day, another opportunity to be gathered together this morning. Thank you for my brothers and sisters that made it out this morning. God, this day, every day is yours, but this day, Sunday, God, we, we specially separated and dedicated, Lord, for one purpose. This morning, God, to just worship you, to just hear your word, to fellowship with the brothers, our family, God, Lord, and encourage one another. God, we pray that you would be glorified in everything that is done and said this morning. Señor, gracias por el gran privilegio de poder estar en tu casa, por poder estar aquí para oír tu palabra, para alabarte, para, Señor, convivir con otros hermanos de la familia de Dios. Gracias, te damos. We thank you, Lord. And now be glorified in everything that is said and done, for it is for your honor and your glory that we ask all these things. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Ah, you guys are on top of it. I like that. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do it, praise the Lord.
trying to get the, uh, or we can see the screen better, and it's these lights, it's not a gift and three metal. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Amen. Let there be light, and there was light. I love this song.
it is good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. We love God. We love people. We love people. We love God. Amen. It is so good. So, so good. And we could uh, meet. Bless you, brother. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Uh, that we could just enjoy each other's company as a family of God. Think about it. We're going to be together for eternity. Amen. Unless some of them plan to go to heaven. I do, and I think all of you do. Amen. So I may be your neighbor out there pestering you. <laughs> it is, it is, we, we, God is just, this family is so great all around the world. I'm just so excited to think of the family of God, worshiping God. I, I think it's a most beautiful time when we forget about ourselves and we just get lost in worship. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, because that's what we're going to be doing for eternity. Amen. Why don't you please stand and let's do these couple of worship songs together. I do. 
is the patience, the mercy, the compassion of God. Here he is the creator, the maker of heavens and earth and everything. Almighty God. Did you know that God, look in the Bible, you won't find it. Nowhere in the Bible does it show God working in the sense of exerting his might or his energy to create or to do anything. You know, you know what the Bible says every time that it talks about God creating or doing something? It, it says God spoke. God spoke and the heavens were. God spoke and the sun was. God spoke and the earth was. God spoke. He didn't expend any energy. And then if you look in the uh, book of Revelations, when it comes to the battle of Armageddon, how does he fight? It says that there's a sword that comes out of his mouth and he just speaks. That's it. He just speaks. God just says, let it be done and it's done. And God says, and all the latest equipment and he just says, go away and they all disappear. Praise God. That's the God we serve. Yes. And yet, we fail him. We forget about him. We put him last on our list of things to do. And this great, big, mighty, powerful God, he doesn't destroy us. He doesn't say, be God. He says, I love you. And he waits patiently. And he deals with us through his Holy Spirit patiently. The psalmist said, Oh Lord, if you did not forgive sins, who could stand before you? Who? That is who you are. That is who you are.